Let's find the equation of the hyperbola that has vertices 0, 4, 0, 0, and passes to the point square root of 5, comma 5. Here's our equation. Notice there are two equations. I've kind of marked them up here. Notice that this is for a horizontal transverse axis. This is for the vertical transverse axis. So the first thing is to determine what we have. And here we have a vertical transverse axis because 0, 4 is one vertex, and 0, 0 is the other vertex. I should have changed those colors. Those are my two vertices right there, and it passes through, so it's going to be some, and it passes through the point square root of 5, which is bigger than 2. I'm going bigger, bigger than, than 2, two over, than three. right, so it's somewhere over here. This is like the square root of 5 is somewhere there, and up 5, so 5 is up here, so it's something like that. So the point that it passes through right here is square root of 5, comma 5. And so... It passes through. This is what the this is what the graph roughly looks like. So here's my equation right here that I'm going to use. Notice that the the y term is the positive. So I need to find my center, which is h comma k. I need to find a and b, a squared and b squared, and um, and then I'll be able to write the equation out. So what do I have already? Whoops, it's the wrong way. I have already the center. Yep, the center is going to be right in the yeah, the middle, the right center in the center of the uh -huh, two vertices. Really? So there's my center. <laughs> Zero comma two is the center. So this is h and k right there, and I'm going to use this point to find the other things that I need. So let's write out my equation. It's x minus zero squared, which is just x squared. Oops. I think I'm writing the equation wrong. I'm supposed to start Mr. with the Y. Fire. I'm supposed to start with the Y for this one. So let's start with the Y. So it's Y minus 2 quantity squared all over A squared. Look back at our equation right there. Mm -hmm. Minus X squared over B squared equals 1. Now what do I already have? What's this distance right here? That distance between that's that distance a. right there. Look at our picture here. It's a. That's a. So I already have a squared, which is four. So y minus two squared. Actually, let me just write it in here. Let me just erase this. And I'm going to write two in there. And now can I find b? Yes. I can because I have an x and a y that I can plug in. That goes in for the y. That goes in for the x. Wait, what? I'm plugging in to that equation x and y for that given point because that point goes through my... Wait, what equation is that for again? This is the equation of my hyperbola. And I'm just trying to find what b. I just need to solve for b. And in order to solve for b, I'm going to plug in x and y and then solve for b and then I'm going to rewrite the equation. So 25. So it's going to be... 5 minus 2, which is 3, that's 3 squared is 9 over 4, minus x squared all over 5 equals 1. And let's solve this equation the best way possible, which is by multiplying, Wait, clearing the fraction. Wouldn't you, put, wouldn't you put root 5 as x squared? So yeah, but what's root 5 squared? 5. Five. I did that wrong. Thank you. Good. I was just checking. Dwyer. I was just checking. Uh, I forgot to charge. Just computer. checking. You got the charger good job. You passed. Use that one. You passed the test. You're plugging that in. Very good. You're plugging that in up here for five. And b squared is what I don't know. B squared. And that's a fact. So let's see. Do you know c squared? No, we don't. Never mind. Yeah. So <laughs> now, um. Let's see what's the best way to solve this. I still like to clear the fraction. Let's let's solve this equation on the next page. Nine over four minus five over b squared. Nine over four minus five over b squared equals one. There's a couple ways you can solve that equation. Cross multiply. Mm, I'm going to show you a way that I like to call. Never mind. Clearing the fraction. I'm going to multiply everything by four b squared. Four b squared. Four b squared. And when I do that, the 4s cancel, the b squareds cancel, and you get 9b squared minus 20 
equals 4b squared. Subtract 9b squared from both sides, you get negative 5b squared equals negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 5, you get 4 equals b squared, which means b equals 2. Technically plus or minus 2, but it's really 2. So what is b right here? 2. 2. And what's b squared? 4. 4. And so what's my equation? There's my equation. Let's write the final answer over here. y minus 2 squared all over 4 minus x squared all over 4 equals 1. There's your equation.